So if you've been watching me for more than a year, you would know that I've made a several how-to cooking tutorials on how to make certain recipes. Some of them have been quite successful, including how to make an inside and out grilled cheese sandwich, how to make cream biscuits, how to make oven roasted asparagus, and some smaller, easier tutorials on how to make Cajun swordfish, German beer bread, vegan green bean casserole, and one of my most personal favorites, asparagus soup. But one of the most common complaints I get on those videos is, Daniel, I hate cooking. I don't like cooking. I don't want to cook. I just want to eat food. And if you're someone who absolutely hates cooking today, I have an alternative for you. I want to make something very clear. I want to be as transparent as possible. One, I paid for this out of my own pocket. Uh, two, I am not sponsored by them. Three, I'm not being paid a single penny, nothing, by making this video. This is completely optional. I saw this ad on Facebook, believe it or not, a Facebook ad, something that actually came out to be a legitimate thing. I clicked on the ad, I was like, hmm, I'm a bit skeptical of this. I'm gonna just try it to see if I like it. And well, you're gonna find out today whether or not it's truly how it's advertised. So I saw this ad on Facebook called Freshly.com, and what it is is it's a website that has pre-cooked, pre-prepared meals delivered fresh to your door. Unlike other companies like Blue Apron, where they send you the ingredients and then you have to cook it, these meals are already cooked and they're delivered directly to your door, fresh. Hence the name Freshly.com. And of course, I was a bit skeptical of this, but I wanted to see what they were all about, so I went to their website. Their website was very awesome interface, easy to use, so I was like, hey, what the hell? I'm gonna try this and see how it is. Of course, my main question regarding them is, is it really fresh like they advertise? Here we can click any meal on this page and it will give us nutritional facts and it will give us exactly what it is made of, the exact ingredients, uh, everything. So everything you wanna know about this product that you're going to be eating, it says right on their website, along with the packaging when it's shipped to your door. This is something that's really cool and unique where it's not, they tell you exactly what you're getting in everything. The way it works is you can have a four, six, nine, or 12 week meal plan where you have these delivered each week directly to your door fresh. At this point, I can probably guess what you're thinking. Is it really fresh? Is it worth the amount of money that you pay for for a weekly delivery service that delivers fresh food to your door so you don't have to cook or do any preparation other than put it in the microwave and warm it up for two minutes? The answer is, in my personal opinion, Yes. Now I'm going to show you the exact meals that I purchased. Up close and personal, you may not want to watch this video if you're hungry. So right off the bat, here's the big old box they sent me. Deliciously healthy is their slogan from Freshly.com. We're going to open this and see exactly what's inside. First thing that I noticed on this is the packaging. Uh, the cooling stuff that they use, it is biodegradable. I really like the fact that everything they give you is biodegradable, including the plastic covers that the meals are in. Something that you don't really see in a lot of uh, delivery services is the plastic that they use is actually biodegradable too. We got some paleo porridge. We got a uh, Southwest Chicken Bowl, which was on the website's main page, as you saw earlier. But I'm a big breakfast guy, so I want to take out this porridge, and we're going to taste this. All the ingredients listed on the back are on... The their website. This is the Paleno Porridge with mango, and surprisingly, this had actually had flaxseed in it, too. It was really, really good. It doesn't look that appetizing. I know that on a visual spectrum, but it tastes really, it's like a mix between oatmeal with mango, and it was really tasty, and I, if you try this service, I'd recommend it. The next meal I tried was the BLT omelet. I'm a big breakfast guy, and breakfast is one of the most important part of the meals of the day, so I wanted to see if this was actually good. It's a good size, something that you get for a normal $8, $9 omelet at a normal size restaurant. But I really wanted to see if it was really high quality in terms of how it was made because I'm, I can never make a perfect omelet and you can see that steam coming right off of it. I put this in the mic for a minute and a half and it's really, really layered well. We have spinach, tomato, and bacon. Look at this. And it tasted excellent. It tasted, it tasted better than any omelet I could ever make. Next up, I had my Southwest chicken bowl that I ate for lunch. Uh, this was by far, I think, one of my favorite meals. Uh, the Southwest Chicken Bowl was delicious with quinoa. I had never had quinoa before. Uh, quinoa was also in the porridge that I had earlier. And remember the plastic? All this is biodegradable, which I think is fascinating. Up close and personal, this is what it looks like with carrots, quinoa, corn, uh, the whole ingredients, tomato, the whole ingredients list is on their website, and this was delicious. I could eat this for lunch every single day. 
beans. Ultimately, it was a great source of protein and it was extremely filling uh, for the amount that they gave you. I found that the portions are very, very well portioned. It's not too much or too little. It's just the right amount. Next meal I had was meatloaf. Now, I can make a pretty good meatloaf. I was pleasantly surprised. This is meatloaf with spinach and creamy potatoes. This was by one of their top rated meals. I thought these little onions were so cute. Um, and this was by far, I think, the best meal that I tried. Um, this was delicious. Uh, it was better than my own homemade meatloaf. And if something's better than my homemade meatloaf, that's saying something. Uh, I would totally get this again. If you try it, try the meatloaf. It's delicious. The next meal I had was their three bean anko turkey chili. This was by far the most filling meal that I had. I couldn't even finish the whole thing. It was really tasty and a massive amount of protein. No complaints there because it filled me very, very fast and I actually saved it for later in the day to eat the rest of it. As mentioned in the start of this video, I am not being paid to say this. I'm not sponsored by them. This was paid out of my own pocket. And I wanna stress that very, 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 very clear. But I know that a lot of people don't like cooking. A lot of people don't even like putting the ingredients together to cook. It's very clear and apparent because of the type of comments I get on my cooking tutorials saying, I don't want to cook. Do you have any alternatives? And from my own personal experience of trying Freshly, I can definitely recommend that Freshly is legitimate. It is tasty. And their slogan is legit. It is fresh food, fresh meals delivered directly to your door, freshly prepared, and they taste from what I tried incredible. I think the best part of the meals is that it's not too little for the price that you're paying because originally when I was thinking like eight nine dollars per meal I thought that it would either be too little or way too much for me to ingest and I found that it was actually perfectly balanced between how filling the meals actually are. Their meals on their website is constantly changing they're constantly updating with new meals new things to try. If you try their service feel free to try something else that they have. You don't have to go with my recommendation on what <clears throat> I personally use, but if you want to check Freshly out, it is linked down below in the description. This is honestly the best alternative that I could find for people who don't like to cook. Because even with companies like Blue Apron, they deliver your food, but then you have to prepare it. And sometimes, if you're like me, I'm in college right now, I don't have the time to physically prepare a big meal for myself to make for myself to eat. I just don't have the time frame to crunch that in when I'm doing in trade school seven, eight hour shifts in school. It's just not practical for me to get all the ingredients and then put it together. Where something like this, that's only $40, $50 a week, if I have that money to put forth, the meals are definitely worth that price. So if you hate cooking, check out Freshly.com. It's 100% worth it, in my opinion.